Owen Gordon is an art student's dream. He is a reflection of what I think every early artist, if they look into the winter of their life, will hope they become. Because he creates because he has to, and he creates with an interest in commenting on the world around him and with a curiosity about that world that is steady. He's as curious when you talk to him about current events, family things, like it's everything from the mundane to the intricately detailed and the sublime that his conversational threads will go through. And all of that's reflected in his work and it's reflected in ways that make sense to him. I would say my reaction to seeing his work for the first time was both this collision of visual impact with overwhelming feeling. Uh, it was partly about the reminder of the need for that openness in practicing and playing in this space, but it was also partly about just as you see, if you know and see the work, the color, the range, the detail, and it extends to what we say we're in this realm to do, which is have art educate um, and engage in interesting conversations about our collective humanity. There's always going to be sentiment around On The Beat because he spent, uh, I think it was 27, just under 30 years working in solid waste at the city. He retired in management, uh, but started out On The Beat as a garbage man. And so I will never look at a garbage man the same way. Mr. Pip is one of the ones that's rooted in a story that he heard on the news late night somewhere in a, a Polynesian or South Pacific island and this weird thing around, I think it was a U.S. Uh, presence of military that was a mistake assault on a community and the presence of a local wealthy man and his wife, which you can see uh, in the white suit and the woman with the umbrella. It's like all these subtleties that show wealth that is partly constructed around colonial identity. How many of us have watched those films where the landowner is the guy in the perfect white suit. The curiosity that's laced in all of what he does, the purposefulness about every choice he makes artistically, it's a, it's, a, it's a case study in how to have, as an artist, the freedom to play and to create without any sense of rules. It's, 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 the, it's the gorgeousness that comes with reckless abandon within the intersection of talent and creativity. just draws from all of it and it's subconscious. So it's like this, this weird intersection of, as he says, the stuff around African cultural references that one gleans from knowledge of everyone from Picasso to Amogliani or whoever else, comes from their inquiry into African local culture. For him, all of that is just in him as a man of African descent uh, who's descended from slaves who was brought to 
from the West Africa into the Caribbean. For him, it's all subconsciously there. It's, it's a part of what stays in his DNA. The minute I saw the work, I had a commitment to feeling a responsibility to make sure it got out in the world in some way.